how exciting is it to have just another camp here, the participation that you've had, and as you mentioned, repeat coaches, counselors, everybody kind of coming back and supporting an idea of yours that started so long ago. Well, it's, it's so much fun to regroup every year. And um, this year, as I said, it's, it's unique and we're all sad to not have Buddy Tevens with us, but we're, we're carrying on things in, in Buddy's honor. What a, what a great guy, what a huge part of this camp he has been. But um, it's a great feeling for me and my boys and everyone associated with Manning Passing Academy. The, the coaches that come back year after year after year, uh, the quarterbacks, a lot of them come back, but they get new ones. Um, our sponsors, we have new sponsors, but long time sponsors. So um, we just, um, as I said, uh, we're so we're indebted to the people at Nickel State, Thibodeau, Lafouche Parish, that so much hospitality here. So our, our, our cup runneth over. Some of the proceeds go to charity to help Special Olympics Louisiana in New Orleans as well. Why is that still important? Why? You well, we so just we just think it's some you know what the Manning Pass Academy is about enhancing the high school football experience. We we think any young man that wants to play high school football uh, and likes it should should uh, enjoy that experience so if we can if we can enhance that and help them get along and enjoy uh, high school football is a great uh, institution so we benefit from um, you know these these kids these parents from all over the country they pay good money for their kids to come here we try to give them their money's worth but then we want to give back uh, in the, and we, we, we give to a lot of different things and then a lot of times it's to do with, with sports with youth sports that benefit people who aren't as fortunate as we are. How are you feeling about the Saints new quarterback situation oh, bringing a, Derek Carr in? I'm a big Derek Carr fan. Uh, I don't know Derek well but I'm gonna get to know him. Uh, Peyton Peyton thinks it, Peyton's been around him a lot. Eli, they, they think he's just a great guy. Just reading between the lines, I, I think he's he's just really made a great start here. Being here for the for the OTAs, and uh, uh, I know uh, he's moved into the community. I happen to know a neighbor. He tell me what a great family they have and everything. So uh, I'm excited about Derek and and the Saints this year. What are your expectations for the team? Pardon me. What are your expectations for the team? Oh, I, I don't make predictions. You know, you got to stay healthy. You got to stay healthy, but. If they stay healthy, this this defense, this defense is going to be good again, and uh, I think Derek get it going. You got to feel your way. You know, we're still trying to fill in at all the receiver positions, and a lot of people have to step up. It has, it's not easy, and it's a lot of good teams out there. But uh, Saints are going to be okay. What is your fondest memory of your time with the Saints? Well, just the experience. You know, we weren't we weren't too good, and we didn't win many games. But I was a, a kid growing up in Drew, Mississippi. And I wanted to play ball. I wanted to play ball, and uh, I got to do it. And I was uh, in my twelfth year with the with the Saints, and I, I enjoyed being the quarterback of the Saints. It 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 carries uh, responsibilities, and it gives you a a place in the community that's um, that was that was fun. People were good to me. People in in Louisiana, in New Orleans, uh, throughout Louisiana, Mississippi, uh, the Gulf Coast, uh, throughout Saints fans wherever were good to me. And continue to be good to me and my family. So I have nothing but great great uh, memories, and I, I I enjoyed the journey. Thank you. Okay. Good luck with the thank rest you. Of camp. Thank you.